Yeah, I'm here on an official capacity to tell you that my skateboard buying days are finished because I've ended up with these six, which I'm going to explain why I've finished up with these six. So I'm officially going to say that I don't want to buy any more of these things. I love them all. Uh, and there are a reason I've actually got these six, which I'll explain. Um, I've had 38 skateboards in the last probably, what, six or seven years, starting with the Fix, uh, the Fix Big Daddy, and uh, I've advanced into finally collecting these. So you could say I'm a collector. Um, so I'll just go through each one of these very, very briefly to explain the kind of reasons why I have them. So first of all, if we look over here, we have the, the a Transite Cross Country uh, with the VESC controller. Uh, it's the four wheel drive cross country. That is just a magnificent thing for all terrain stuff. It'll go absolutely anywhere. Really, really stable, really, really quick. Um, its range is probably about 20 Ks, so you can actually buy another battery that you flick onto the top there, which will probably double that range. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with the, the 20 Ks out of that machine, and that is just a fantastic thing to, to ride around before this one falls down. Okay, uh, then we have... So this is the second. So what, what you notice is I've, I've got three all-terrains here and there's a reason for that because if I want to, I, I actually quite like teaching people how to ride these things and take them out for, for rides, etc. So I kind of figured if I had three all-terrains, I can go anywhere at all and then I've got three street models over here to obviously go on to the street. So I can take well, six people out at a time or I can take three very comfortably on a cross country trail. So the second one of the all terrains is the Eovan GTS, which is uh, a really good machine. I, I like the deck, I like the shape, the, the uh, concave shape deck there. Um, the, uh, it, it's, it's a really comfortable machine, it goes really well. It's got a reasonable bit of speed. I think it gets up to about 40 Ks. Bear in mind, I actually never ever go very fast on these things because I don't want to hurt myself basically I'm not that good at riding these things I can ride them in a straight line I can turn I can carve and turn okay but I don't want to go fast so that is one thing but apparently this can go up to 40 k's 45 k's maybe which I do believe it's got plenty of power left in it its range again is about 20 k's which for an all-terrain board is not too bad next we have and this only arrived this week. So this is my, my last of the boards and that's why I thought I will do that video today because it is the last of my boards, trust me. Uh, this is the V-Star Black Hawk with the rubber honeycomb wheels. Um, it's the all-terrain board. Uh, it only arrived the other day. I really like this. This is a really, really nice board. It's got plenty of power. Uh, I haven't tested the range on it yet, which I will do, and I'll do a video in the next month or two on that. But this is a really nice board. It's really comfortable. Trucks were pretty loose when I got it, so I've tightened the trucks up. It turns really, really easily. It's got the double kingpin trucks, as has the EO van. Both these turn really easily. The Transite, a little bit harder to turn but still it's, it's good. But these turn really easily. This particularly turns on a dime. Uh, but that's why I tighten the trucks up because it, it feels a little bit unstable. But when I tightened them up yesterday, it went really, really well. So it's a great little machine. I quite like that one. They're saying its range is 25 to 30 Ks for, for, for an all-terrain board. That's actually pretty good if, if it does that. And I hope that it does. Now onto the street boards. Okay, so here we have the Transite Direct Drive, Bamboo Direct Drive. Uh, this is just an awesome machine, awesome indeed. It's a little bit tougher to turn, and well, it carves really well, but it's, it's a bit tougher to turn than, than these. Um, but I, it's again, it's got the double king pins. I did loosen them off yesterday, and that is actually a lot, lot better. So. It's a, a lot better with those slightly looser trucks, but it, it is a fantastic thing. This thing will go easily. 
40, 45 k's in range with the cloud wheels and it's very, very quick. Now, I reckon I've probably got up to maybe 35, but I had a young lad who was crazy on this recently and he hit 50 k's an hour and it was pretty scary, but it was still really, really stable. This is a fantastic thing with the vest controller and the direct drive. Certainly easily my, probably my, my favorite of the boards. Uh, okay, then I'll just have the, uh, the Evolve GTX. Now I've had this for many, many years. It's always been a good machine. I've always had Evolves right from the very start of when they started. I had the, the GT when it first came out, etc. Plus I had the Bamboos before that. Um, and so the GTX has served me really, really well. It's been a great thing. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. I know Evolve's had some issues with the remotes, etc., but not for me. It's been a terrific vehicle. I've got the 107s on it that gives it a really quite an extended range. Probably easily get, again, 35 to maybe 45 Ks, depending on, on what uh, Echo or whatever, Echo or Fast Mode, probably Echo Mode, I'm on. Uh, the thing with Evolve, I guess, is your top speed is not very quick. I've only got up to about 35 on this, and that was pretty much on the top speed uh, and but the range is fantastic uh, uphills also not very good uh, the motors as you can see I don't know whether you can see that but the motors are, are much smaller compared to these these are probably a half size again bigger than the motors on the Evolve so I think the Evolves have done some homework and uh, has come and come up with a Hadean which is obviously going to be a good machine but I think with with so many other uh, companies coming up with uh, skateboards that are actually probably equal to or if not better than these and certainly cheaper um, but anyway look the Evolve's been really good so I'm, I'm happy to keep this one now this little fella here is is my my second favorite behind the behind the DD the the direct drive Transite this is the Transite Mini so you can see the size of this little fella it's fairly heavy, don't believe me. Uh, I had the cloud wheels on it, 105, 105 cloud wheels, uh, but then I put the 107, uh, the 107 on these, and uh, this is just a great little machine. It's a direct drive. Uh, it's really, really stable. It's really, really fast. It's got a lot of power in it. Uh, it's got the vest controller as well. Uh, as I said, really stable, really quick. And the range on with the clouds, I go, probably got about 24, 25 Ks. With the 107s, I've got easily up to 30 Ks, which for a mini board is pretty good. But that is an awesome little machine. So as you can see, I've, I've got a whole variation of things, and that's what I wanted. I wanted things to be different. So the, the cross-country, different. The Evolve, uh, sorry, the Eervan is you know a pretty normal... AT machine like a lot of others this one is different again because of the wheels I really wanted to look at the honeycomb the rubber wheels which means you don't get any flat tires the direct drive is obviously a very different machine to the Evolve um, which is of course the belt drive and this is the direct drive and the little fella there the mini is a direct drive so I've, I've covered all bases in my six so Anytime I take anybody out, we've got a variation, which, which is fantastic. So I just didn't want to have six boards all the same, which is a little bit boring. But, and I do declare, I am done officially. No more boards, no more looking at reviews. I'm quite happy with the six boards I have, which is a little bit crazy anyway. Uh, I will do a review on the Mini and on to the V-Star Black Hawk. In the next couple of months, when I get a bit of time, we're in lockdown here in South Australia at the moment for the next few days, and it's pretty wet outside. But uh, I did take this out yesterday. I really enjoyed it. I loosened the trucks on the, the DD and the Transite Mini that also made them turn also a lot easier, and they're both double kingpin trucks. Uh, any questions, feel free to ask below, and uh, enjoy the skateboarding. Thank you.